So these hives are absolutely exploding. We've gone through another hatch. We are just this close to falling so far behind. Um, we got to work and we got to take down the strength within these colonies. So we have all the seconds on. The bees are building up and the queen's are already laying those right full of eggs. And all the, mm -hmm. the single hives we left that we have to go through, the next week and a half we're going to go through and equalize the whole apiary before we get back to the seconds to strip off as splits. But before we can strip off those splits we need to uh, build queen cells. So I sent Carrie around the apiary to pick five to ten breeder hives so she's assessed everything. Uh, she's brought back just the brilliance of my stock. Uh, we're so excited about that. And we're going to start grafting either tomorrow or on Thursday. Right now I have the girls looking for queens and what we're doing is we're skimming off population to make builders. Before we can take these splits off we need queen cells mature. We'll graft 60 cells every day. Found her? Oh, she's a beauty. So we're going to catch that queen, cage her, and then we're going to strip all the young bees, or not all the young bees, but a good proportion of the young bees from this colony into our builder. So once we find her, we put her in a clip. It just keeps the queen safe. And then I come through, or we come through and we strip the colony of bees and we shake them into our builder which we have set up already. We have uh, honey, honey pull on, pull on, graft, pull on, graft, pull on, honey, foundation and feeder. And we'll fill this thing right up with bees. We'll take it back to the home yard and then we'll park a box of foundation underneath of it just to put, just for a place to put the bees. So basically the idea of what we're doing is we're identifying these big strong colonies and we're basically just stripping all the bees, we're harvesting the bees from them to be able to use in our builders. So these bees occupied two boxes, we removed the bees from the top, we took some bees from the bottom. We're keeping them set up in this situation because they're packed full of brood, they're going to fill us up again. My whole mindset has changed from a week ago where we're trying to keep everything conservation minded. We're trying to give them room, we're not worried about keeping them tight anymore, we're giving them space to expand into because now is the time when they're growing and this is when they're going to swarm. Dandelions are just about to flow and these trees have packed these colonies full of brood. These guys are growing. We're seeing nighttime lows of fives, um, you know, eights. We're seeing daytime highs up into the 20s, 25s. So these, these are ideal conditions to grow their spring colonies. So we got to be able to be, stay ahead of these girls. Because um, if we don't, they'll swarm off on us. So right now is high time. We got to get busy. So I get asked all the time, how do I know my builder is full enough of bees? I always say it's with the frame test. You want the frame just to be able to, you know, gradually, we put it in, just kind of gradually fall down in. So the bees are kind of holding the frame up and it just kind of gradually goes down. That's when you know you have enough bees in here. So we're going to take this back to the yard and we're going to put a box of foundation underneath just a place for the bees to hang. We're going to give these guys lots of feed and we're going to let them sit queenless for about two days before we drop a graft in. I'm not worried at all about these bees flying away on me when I dump them in here. If the bees fly back to a colony, we don't want them anyways. Those are old bees. We want the young bees, the ones that stick around. Those are the ones that are going to draw out the cells. So here's one builder complete. So I'm going to run eight builders. I'm going to run two builders at the same time because I want 60 cells drawn every day. I'll be dropping 30 cells into one builder. 30 cells into the second builder and just keep going down the line within my four day rotation. So I want 60 cells maturing every day, 10 days from now, or 10 days from when we first set the graft in, uh, we'll have 60 cells ready every single day, every day. Carrie's gonna be busy Thursday and on and every afternoon, she'll be dedicating a couple hours of her time uh, grafting and making me queens.
Ah, oh, shoot. Carrie, I'm going to have to get you the finder in this colony. Okay. <laughs> Damn you, she was on the first frame I pulled. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, she is pretty. Okay. Where was I? The top box is kind of big. Oh, look at that. They're just swimming. Make sure you put foundation on it before you call it a day. Under. <laughs> <laughs> 